the GMP Rapid Electric Gun Series joins their already vast M4 family, a brand that has garnered a reputation of quality, performance and compatibility, setting a standard for all metal AEGs. They are never too expensive, nor are they the cheapest, as they sit slap bang in the middle when it comes to price range. They've been stepping up their game of late, as this is their first high rate of fire AEG of its kind for GMP. I did review this particular M4 when I reviewed the GMP Auto Winding Drum Magazine, but I feel like it deserves its own review. So, did GMP really step up their game, or did they just slap lipstick on a pig? With the exception of the ergonomic pistol grip, the six-point telescopic stock, and their 110-round mid-cap magazine, everything is made out of metal. On their Mott-style receiver, you could find their skull frog marking, which you could also find on their magazine. On the telescopic stock is their sling point mount, which you can remove and fit onto the other side, or on their three-inch rail system on both sides, which you can apply a load of their accessories to. On the top is their flip-up front and rear sights, which do require a bit of pressure to lower, and you may need to lubricate it a fair bit. Same with their ambidextrous mag release. Could possibly smack myself in the face if I apply more pressure. And the other side, wow, a lot of it does require lube. At the front, you'll find their mushroom style flash hider, which I'm not really a big fan of because, well, even though it replicates the design of the cookie cutter, I'm not a fan of mushrooms. As I've just mentioned, the style of their receiver and rail system is known as the MOT system, or the multi-objective training system, which you can find on a lot of their M4s. It does take a very short and stubby design, much easier for CQB, perfect for close quarter scenarios, so you can take it around those corners without accidentally bumping it or bruising it when you're slicing the pie. What I do like is their extended fire selector, which is very smooth when it comes to switching it to semi and full auto. Unfortunately, it is not ambidextrous. And like most M4 AEGs, the batteries can be stored in the stock tube so long as it has large Dean's connectors and pulling back. The charging handle gives you access to the breech where you can adjust the hop-up adjustment dial. These days, the GMP internals are on the up and up when it comes to quality and reliability, setting a standard for all out-of-the-box M4 AEGs of this particular price range. What's great is that GMP have plenty of aftermarket parts, so you could do upgrades to it if you want. But let's hope this M4 can do without. Which reminds me, I think it's time to put it to the test. For the chrono test, we're using 0.2 gram 6mm BBs, and it clocked in at an average of 290 FPS. We are now at SWS Airsoft in Hong Kong at the 25 meter range and we're going to do an accuracy test using 0.3 gram BBs instead. Because of the much shorter inner barrel length, you can't expect it to be accurate at 25 meters, which is why you only get a grouping of about 6 inches. So it is pretty decent at 25 in semi-auto only, but the whole point of the rapid fire is to fire rapidly. So I guess it's time to go full auto now. Let's have some fun. That was pretty intense. Now that we know that this makes for a perfect paper shredder, let's see how the trigger response is, because anybody could go full auto and hold the trigger down. It's very reactive. I obviously don't have the same trigger finger as Gambit, but let's have a closer look. There is no definitive wall, but the reset is rather obvious. That's not so bad for an AEG. 
So the GMP Rapid Fire AEG is pretty decent right out of the box. It looks great. It chronos as much as the Tokyo Marui, so it's perfectly reasonable for indoor CQB. Though if you do take it outdoor, you could use full auto, and we all know how that can turn out, especially for the opposing team. And that goes perfectly well with the GMP Auto Winding Drum Magazine. If you haven't seen that review, click here. That magazine fits in other products as well, like Ares, such as the AM013. If you haven't seen this review, click right here. So can the GMP Rapid Fire AEG stand alone without any internal modifications? Yes, it can. Though if I do get one, I'll most likely do them anyway, get some external modifications to put this to its fullest potential. So for this cool product, click on the link in the description below. See you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Pornstash out.